so yes so guys uh, for this academic year we are going to learn a subject called digital logic design okay so so the name itself implies contains three words one is digital another one is logic another one is design right what is the meaning of digital so we can simply say that digitalization meaning that computerization can we call computerization of something we can call it as digitalization and what is the meaning of logic which can be used for to work something what about the design design means structure why we need to structure like for example when you went for to meet a client for some particular purpose client will give certain kind of requirements those requirements you are going to analyze first you are going to analyze first after analyzation you are you are able to identify that whether i can able to do the project or not if i am able to do the project then i will go for further process right in analysis phase what i am going to do i am going to think like whether my project able to complete or not right for example the client has given 100 requirements and he is asking to submit this project within 3 days can he able to complete the project no and for example they asked for 100 kind of requirements for 100 rupees is it possible to solve this requirements for 100 rupees no this kind of analysis is going to be done in the analysis phase once analysis is going to be done then we'll go for design phase right in the design phase we are going to pictorially draw the actual representation of the requirement for example i want to construct the building if i would like to construct the building first i am going to analyze it then i am going to pictorially draw it if that pictorial representation is going to be approved from the client then only i will move for actual implementation this is what actually is going to happen the same thing wherever it is in uh, electronics industry or any kind of software industry the same process is going to follow first client is going to give requirements then we are going to analyze then we are going to make it design okay so why they made here a sentence called a word called design design means something like uh, before going to actually implement anything we have to design it right so th that is simply called as logical representation of the actual implementation right for example for example in olden days if you are going to take 64 gb of memory 64 gb of memory what is the size they are going to take for the respect to chip assuming that 10 cm by 10 cm can we expect it or not in olden days right if you take a computer also it is a kind of vast size nowadays computers are hand handed devices similarly so why the computer is of big size because the memory capacity is requires more more kind of uh, device size similarly nowadays the same 64 gb amount of memory trying to store in how much length of the device some 1 cm by 1 cm i hope you understood which is available in various kind of system right so that is the advantage of design right the way that we are trying to design our internal element structure depending upon that the size of the structure is going to be completely changed right so here in digital logic design what we are trying to think about design means if you take any kind of motherboard any kind of motherboard if you observe in the laptops or any kind of computers the internally you will have a green card green color structure card is there right if you if you look into that you will have various kind of circuits for kind of circuits on time right those circuits will will be designed here right like for example like for example in olden days we are going to use one switch is for on the light and one switch is for off the light what about the nowadays we are going to use the the same switch for both on as well as that is the advantage of a design an efficient design right for that we are going to write the logic we are going to write the logic for what kind of purpose 
for digitalization purpose for digitalization purpose for example if you take any kind of a calculator software any kind of calculator software right so you are going to write calculator software either in java language or in c language right yes but trying to write your software in this kind of languages itself sufficient to work the software program or it requires any kind of hardware elements it requires obviously hardware elements hardware elements means what again a motherboard this motherboard is responsible for the processing of data right that is going to be done in this uh, respect to digital logic design subject okay now fine so internally this hardware will process it and trying to store the data this trying to store the data in which format again a format to store chestunnam in the form of binaries in the form of low level language or we can call it as binary language or we can call it as machine level language that is in the form of zeros and ones right this is the basic introduction about digital logic design meaning that we are trying to draw the circuits in an efficient manner we are trying to create the logics in an efficient manner in order to implement any kind of device perfectly that's it so in order to do that first and foremost basic requirement what you have to learn is you have to learn one kind of concept called number system right so what do we mean by number system number system right so which you know already meaning that the way information is going to be processed in the system information is going to be stored or processed in the system we can simply represent it as number system right as a human beings what kind of number system are we following decimal number system as a human being we are trying to follow a number system called decimal number system meaning that if i am trying to simply say a number called 77 number called 77 which is an actual value called 77 only actual value called 77 meaning that i can represent this like in terms of 7 multiplication with 7 power 0 meaning that i am trying to take the unit digit whose index value is 0 and the next digit tens digit is 1 and so on so 7 into 10 to the power of 0 as i am saying it is decimal number system plus 7 into what is index value 10 to the power of 1 if i are able to calculate are we going to get the 77 or not yes this is what a decimal number system decimal means what 10 only 10 only right so like this we are going to have various kind of number systems that are available for us which can be understood by machine but finally in which kind of format it is going to store it is going to store only in binary number system that is in the form of zeros and ones zero and one okay so among those first kind of number system is binary number system binary number system binary means what two meaning that whose radix is two whose radix is two or i can call it as base is two means binary number system allow only two values only two values that is zero and one zero and one right so if you observe here 0 1 1 0 can i call this number as a binary number system yes because it can allow only two kind of values one is 0 another one is 1 so binary number system is going to allow only values one is 0 and 1 right and if you observe here whatever the values or whatever the digit that we are having all those digits are less than the base value all those are the less than the base value right fine so this is the system it is going to be follow coming to decimal number system which is having the radix 10 and which can allow only 10 elements which can allow only 10 elements those 10 elements are from 0 to 9 if you count these numbers total of 10 numbers 10 numbers right and another kind of number system is octal number system right if i am saying that is an octal number system whose radix is 
it can allow eight elements eight elements those numbers are from 0 to 7 0 to 7 right so for example i am trying to say 765 base 8 is it valid octal number system yes if i am trying to say 765 base 2 is it a is it a valid binary number no because whatever the values that are available here those should be less than 2 but they are more than 2 so this is not binary number can i take like this 795 base 8 is it valid no because 7 is less than 8 okay 9 is less than 8 no condition fail so this is not octal number system right whereas coming to the same number if i am going to take 795 base 10 is it going to be decimal number system yes whatever the values that are available here those are definitely less than 10 so it comes under decimal number system okay coming to one more kind of number system that is hexadecimal number system whose radix is 16 and 16 and the values which are available here are always going to be less than 16 only meaning that it contains 16 elements ranging from 0 to 15 so if you are going to write 0 to 15 what is going to happen 0 to 9 and the next numbers are like 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 right here the system will get confused whether this should be considered as a 1 or a 0 or a combination of 1 0 so to avoid that ambiguity they have removed the number 10 and they modify it as a b c d e and so hexadecimal number system ranges from 0 to 9 and a to e and a to e okay fine so this is the way your data is going to be represented but how internally the system will understand right for example i am trying to give a number like 1 1 I am trying to give a number like 1 1 right as a human being you are trying to give the number like 1 1 in my point I am thinking that this is binary number 1 1 is it possible it, it should become a binary number yes or no yes it is possible but if I am going to give it to the system what the system will think system will think it as a decimal number system it will think it as a decimal number system and internally it will convert into some other format like low level language but in order to make it system to understand that this should be a binary number system compulsory you have to give prefix with 0 followed by b 0 followed by b what is the meaning of this one now as a human being i can able to understood that this is a binary number system system also can able to understood that as it is going to start with 0 followed by b b means binary number system also will think that okay this is a binary number so system will process it or it is going to store directly it is going to store directly directly okay what about decimal number system if i am going to give the number 11 if i am going to give the number 11 how the system will think is it a decimal number system yes obviously by default every number is comes under decimal number system and internally it will store in the form of uh, again binary number system only number system only okay what about octal number system if i am going to give the number 11 number 11 compiler uh, system will think that it is a normal level but we have to make give input as octal number then we have to give we have to prefix with zero if you are going to prefix with zero the system will think that this is optimal number system similarly if i am going to give the same number 11 to the hexa to the system it also thinks that it is a kind of uh, again decimal only but to make it system to understood that it is a hexadecimal number i have to compulsory start with zero followed with either small x or capital x if i made like this the system will think that this 11 will be considered under hexadecimal number system why we need to identify again whether it is uh, a binary number or a normal number or any kind of octal number or any kind of hexadecimal number means to process it efficiently if you want to process any any data in process efficiently then we have to identify the respective kind of number system right so so 
you are going to give okay so you are going to give here you are going to give here suppose for example i am trying to give a number called 11 number called 11 right so when you give a number called 11 by default it will comes under decimal number system how this number is going to store inside the system in the form of binary values right so what is the binary value of this 11 any idea 1 0 1 1 very good so this is the respect to representation respect to representation okay fine so here i am trying to take a number called 1 1 in base 2 1 1 in base 2 now this can be understood by directly system right what is the its respect to value that we need to understand as part of human being what is this value? Any idea? This is 3. How we are getting the 3? So, here you have to do something like, you have to do some kind cal of calculation. So, you know indexes are started with 0, 1, right? So, you have to take the respect to digit and you have to multiply with powers of the respect to index portion size, 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power 1. If you are able to calculate this, this will be 3. That is the decimal number system for me. Okay, now. Fine. For example, let us take one more example. 101, which is in base 2 format, you need to calculate that its respect to decimal format. What you have to do? You have to take the first digit, 1. That should be multiplied with the powers of 2, 2 power 0 plus 0 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 square which is the value is 5 5 so the respect to number 101 binary is equal to 5 in decimal number system right so meaning that we are trying to convert binary number to decimal number so there are many kind of conversions are there which is needed for us among those one kind of conversion is any number system to decimal number system right so i have shown example from binary to decimal number system for example try to observe i have taken the same one one i am assuming that this is available in octal number is the value is same or different in, in decimal different because its internal logic is completely different right so how we are going to do it thus process same 1 into 8 power 0 plus 1 into 8 power 1 which you are going to get as 9 in decimal number okay fine i am trying to take the same number 8 uh, 1 1 in assuming that this should be an hexadecimal number hexadecimal number what is the respect to value in uh, decimal number 17 1 into 16 power 0 plus 1 into 16 power 1. So, answer is 17. 17 will be equivalent in decimal number system to 11 in hexadecimal number system. Right? So, sometimes you may observe the actual integer values like, as like as 11 like that. Sometimes you may observe fractional parts also. Right? Fractional parts means something like 11.01. Can I take it as a binary number? Is it valid or not? Because all values are less than 2 only. So, it is a valid binary number. Right? At this time, how we are going to calculate? Right? So, basically, you know numerical part. You know, right? So, if you observe here, this index is 0 and the remaining left while moving to the left side, index position is 1 and so on. Similarly, here the index position is minus 1, minus 2 and so on. 
while moving to the left side should be plus and while moving to the right side should be minus. So, how we are going to calculate this one? The same procedure. First, try to calculate the numerical part, I mean positive section part 1 into 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus find out the negative part 0 into 2 power minus 1 plus 1 into 2 power minus 2. What is the value? So, I think you are going to get here 0, right? 0 into 2 power minus 1 is 0 and uh, 1 into 2 power minus 2 is 1 by 4. 1 by 4 means 0 0.25. So, total value is I think 3.25. 3.25. So, 3.25 is the decimal number system equivalent to 11.01 in the binary number system. So, like this you are going to follow the same process. Okay. So, another kind of situation. So, this is for understandability. What about system understandability? If I am going to give any kind of decimal number system, we can able to convert into any number system. Right? Any number system means it can be binary, octal, hexadecimal or with base radix 6 or whatever it may be. It can be any other thing. Right? How we are going to do that? For example, try to take out the number 3 only. Try to take out the number 3 only. Are we going to get the value 1 1 or not check? Right, 3. Right? How we are going to get it? Right? See, observe here. I am trying to convert 1 1 into 3 by simply performing multiply with 2 powers of something. Right? If you want to get back the same number, what you have to do? Opposite to that one, right? Once you are trying to perform multiplication, you are going to get something. If you want to get back, you have to simply perform division operation. Right? So, 3 should be divisible with 2, <coughs> divisible with 2. So, why I am trying to convert to 2? Because my requirement is 3 base 10 to, I need to convert it to 2. So, what you can do? 2 1s are 2, remainder is 1. And 2 zeros are 0, remainder is 1, right? So, like this you have to calculate until you will get the remainder 0 or which cannot be solvable, right? So, if you are going to write this in the reverse honor from bottom to top that will be as the respect to number system data right are you getting the same data or not yes right 1 1 base 2 is equivalent to 3 base 10 3 base 10 is equal to again 0 1 1 is there any value for this 0 0 into 2 power 2 0 into 2 power 2 is again 0 only there is no problem so meaning that when you are trying to convert decimal number system to any number system what you have to do you have to divide the actual number with the destination number system successfully until you will be solved it. You will be solved it, right? So, for example, I am trying to take the same number like 5 base 10. Try to do it 5 with the 2. 2 2s are 4, you are going to get the remainder 1. 2 1s are 2, you are going to get the remainder 0. You can able to stop here because further it is not solvable or else if you want you can able to do that two zeros so if you write one zero one respect number right similarly i want to convert the decimal number nine base ten to the octal number sorry hmm, octal number only right so what is the destination number here eight so you have to divide the number nine with the octal number eight eight ones are eight remainder is one so we can stop here Yes, so that is 1 1 to the base 8. Similarly, 17 to the base 10. 17 should be divided with 16. 16 1 are 16, remainder is 1. Again, you are going to get 1 1 only. Right? So, like this, you can able to take any number. For example, I am trying to take one number as 252. 252, which is in decimal number system. I am trying to convert it into octal number system. How can you do that, ma? Simply divide it with 8. If you are going to do that, 8 3 is 24, 8 1s are 8, remainder is 4. Okay. Next, 8 4s are 28, 8 4s are 32. So, by observing your face, I am getting clumsy. 8 4 is 32, 8 3 is 24, 24 remainder is 
7 can you stop here yes right so this is the corresponding octal number for the decimal number 252 base 10 so what is what you are going to get here 374 base 8 can we check whether it is correct or not yes, all the digits whatever available here those should be less than it those should be less than it or else you can simply perform again back step 374 base 8 should be converted to decimal number then you can able to get the 252 base 10 base 10 right so what about this one here if you take 3.25 base 10 to the again binary number system right so what you can do first try to complete first try to complete this integer part 3 what is the respect to binary value for the integer part 3 you have already calculated right 3 for, for 3 you are going to get 0 double 1 for numerical part you are trying to do 0 double 1 and you have to take out the fractional part that is 0 0.25 right that should be multiplied with multiplied with respect to destination number system again 0 0.25 it into 2 0 0.5 right take out the numerical part i mean take out the integer part that is 0 that is 0 right so you can able to add here after point you can able to add this 0 okay next what is the remaining after removing this one 0 0.5 into 2 are you going to get what 1.0 then what is the next digit 1 if you remove the 1 what is the next value here you are going to get 0 0.0 0 0.0 that is going to multiply with 2 you are going to get 0 0.0 again you are going to take 0 this process is going to continue you are going to process it again you are going to get only 0 so we can able to stop here <coughs> like so take out the simple another example for example I am trying to get okay 2.96 2.96 which is in decimal format which is in decimal format I am trying to convert it into binary number convert into binary number what you have to do my first first you have to take out the integer value 2 should be divided with 2 2 ones are 2 remainder is 0 so 10 is the one point kind of part right try to note down 10 after that you have a dot place the dot place the dot and trying to take 0.96 should be multiplied with 2 0.96 should be multiplied with 2 right if you are going to multiply with 2 what is the value you are going to get 0 0.96 into 2 you are going to get 2 6 are 12 2 9 are 18 that is so 1.92 in this integer value is what 1 so trying to take out the integer value 1 and place here if you remove the integer value what is the remaining value here 0 0.92 into again 2 again 2 so you are going to get here as 4 1.84 so take out the 1 you can place here 0.84 into 2 again 1.68 I think so again 1 again 1 so like this you can able to enumerate this or you can able to stop a maximum of 3 digits right so the decim the binary respect to value for 2.96 base 10 is 10.11 10 right so this way you can able to convert decimal number system into any other kind of number system so meaning that so we have seen the procedure for converting any number system to decimal number system and another one is decimal number system to any number system right so we will see one more kind of conversion which is for our calculation is very easy one is octal to binary number system octal to binary number system right so if somebody ask you to convert 756 base 8 octal means base 8 is it a valid number yes into the respect to binary number 2 the respect to binary number 2 right so what is simple solution what we can do 
according to what we know can we convert first into can we convert first into if you are going to convert octal number into binary number according to our existing solutions we have already know the logics right any number to decimal decimal to any number first what we can do any number to decimal number system we can able to follow yes or no first i am trying to convert into decimal number system from decimal number system to i can convert this for example this is a simple logic you have to follow the same procedure in order to solve any kind of gate question because those coins are very complex right so what you can do try to calculate 76 base 8 in uh, decimal number system so first value is you are going to get 6 second is 40 third is 64 into 7 what is the value of 64 into 7 448 right so what is the value 494 is it correct right 494 in decimal number right now this decimal number you need to convert into again binary number so what you can do simply 494 is going to dissolve with 2 so you can able to process it and trying to get back writing down the numbers from bottom top you will get the actual binary number right so try to calculate Again, 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 
double one zero. So are we getting the same data or not? Yes. This is the way you can able to right. So meaning that when you are in octal number system, when you are octal number system, what is the maximum number of digits required to represent a number? When you are in octal number system, what is the maximum number of digits required to represent a particular number? Three digits are enough, right? Right? Can we able to represent the number eight with the help of three digits? No, it is not possible. If you want to represent one more number, one more uh, like uh, more than seven, you have to compulsory add four digit number. If you are going to place four digit number, it should be zeros. Is it okay? It should be zeros. And what about the eight value? Two cube is eight, and all the remaining are right. So like this, what is the maximum number I can able to place with respect to a four digit number? Four digit binary number? Fifteen. If I am going to place all the numbers with one, 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 two power zero into one, two power one into one, and so on, four times, you are going to get the value fifteen. So try to observe here. With the help of a three bits, with the help of a three bits, I can able to generate a maximum number seven. With the help of a four bits, I can able to generate a maximum number fifteen. Generate a maximum number fifteen, right? Similarly. If I am going to have an n bits, I am going to have an n bits. What is the maximum number I can able to generate? Two power. Is it okay with the two power n minus one? So two cube minus one. Okay, two power four minus one. Fifteen. Is it okay? What about for the n value? For example, try to assume for the five bits. If it is for five bits, two power five minus one. Two power five minus one. That is thirty-two. One minute. One minute. Cool. That is thirty-one. Right? If it is thirty-one, are we going to get thirty-one for the five consecutive ones? Yes or no? Try to calculate. This is two power four. 2 cube, 2 square, 2 power 1, 2 power 0. 2 power 4 is 16 plus 8, 24. 24 plus 4, 28. 28 plus 2, 30. 30 plus 1 is 31, right? So if I would like to represent an n bit, if I am having a space of n bit number, n bit space, I can able to generate a maximum of 2 power n minus 1. This is important. 2 power n minus 1. Okay. Fine. Similarly, if I am going to have, if I am going to have a binary number, a binary number, I am asking you to convert it into again an octal number. What you can do? Again, you can go for a decimal number followed with again octal number. Instead of that, what we can do? According to our logic, according to our logic, what we can do? Every three numbers, every three numbers. I can be considered as a one digit in octal number system, right? So try to take out one one zero. What is the value of one one zero? Six. What is the value of what is the value of one zero one? Five. What is the value of triple one? Seven. Seven fifty six base. Like this, you can able to calculate, right? For example. Uh, some you got like three fifty four point two six in base eight. I am asking you to convert it into binary number. What is the simple solution? First, is it a valid octal number? Yes, sir. No. Yes, right. Uh, four. I can represent as one double zero. Why I am going to take only three three digit number? Why can't I add zero one more zero here? Because I'm, they are asking for only octal. Octal requires three digits. Five means one zero one. Three means zero one one. Dot. Two means what? Zero one zero. Six means one one zero. This is the representation in binary number. Binary number, right? Now again, getting back to the again octal number. For example, instead of octal number, they are asking for you to convert into hexadecimal number. 
hexadecimal number meaning that uh, binary number to hexadecimal number what you can do here you can simply take from point you can start 4 4 you can consider why i am trying to consider it as 4 4 because hexadecimal requires maximum of 4 digits right so here you can able to append two zeros there is no problem because on the right side for fractional part there is no problem similarly for the integer part on the left side there is no problem there is no value for it right here you can able to segregate like 4 4 right what is the value of double one double zero 8 plus 4 12 12 means 12 means c 12 means c right what about triple one zero i think 14 14 means e 14 means e what about the right side 5 101 is 5 right 5 1 triple 0 means so e c dot 5 8 is in hexadecimal number system right if somebody tries to convert this into again a binary number what you have to do you have to take out every number comes with the 4 4 digit not 3 3 digits because it is a hexadecimal number system like this you can able to convert uh, one more kind of thing is uh, hexadecimal to binary number system i think i have covered here right so because you can able to take 4 4 4 as yes, one part you can able to get it right what is the another one we have covered here directly we covered octal to hexadecimal hexadecimal to octal number hexadecimal number to octal number right so you can able to solve any kind of question if somebody has asked the questions of conversions right okay try to solve this question 1 1 base 2 plus 2 2 base 3 plus 3 3 base 4 What is the value? Right. So here, what you have to do, right? You are not able to calculate two different number systems, right? So you have to make it sequential for all values, right? You have to convert all into binary number system or you have to convert into all into three number system or you have to convert all into four number system or you can able to convert into decimal number system right so far as decimal number system is efficient one so try to convert everything into decimal number system first so 11 base 2 in decimal number system 3 you know 3 base 10 22 base 3 in decimal number system 2 into 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8 is base 10 plus 3, 3 base 4, 12 plus 3, 15 base 10. Now all are in decimal number system, it is easy for us to solve, right. So 11 plus 15, 26 base 10, 26 base 10. But here they assume that they have given again in this one. What is this question mark? What you have to do now? You need to convert this 26 base 10 into base 6 format, right? If you would like to convert into base 6 format, what you have to do? You have to divide with 6, right? So 26, 6 for 24, base 2, for 42, right? So the answer is, in place of question mark, you have to place as 4 to base 6 like this you can able to calculate right so for example one more kind of question 123 base 5 x 8 base y what are the possible values of x and y right 
simply what we can do we can blindly follow to convert everything into decimal number system right that is easy for us so what we can do here 123 base 5 converted to decimal number system that is 3 into 5 power 0 plus 2 into 5 power 1 plus 1 into 5 square equal to equal to x y plus 8 so left side you are going to get 38 right side is x y plus 8 so can i write x y equal to 30 x y equal to 30 right so if you got certain kind of equation can we able to calculate the values of x and y what are the positive values of x and y if you take x and y x value is 1 y value is 30 2 and 15 3 and 10 5 and 6 6 and 5 10 and 3 15 to 31 any other possibilities are there no guys if you observe here they are asking what are the positive values of x and y the, is these are all positive values no right all are not possible because try to think according to our characteristics of number system if i am trying to say that a number system is in some y number system the values which are present in the location should be less than y right meaning that with this expression can i calculate x less than y yes or no right meaning that all the values which is going to violate x less than y principle can we able to eliminate right so this eliminated all these four are not possible options because it is going to violate x less than y principle right now now is 5 less than 6 meaning that is x value is 5 and y value is 6 can i take this as answer no why if i am going to take 6 as answer for y what about this one it is going to be violated again so this option also be not correct right so you have to know those characteristics first right now so the possible answers are only these three 130 215 and 310 okay now fine so try to take out one more for example uh, 38 plus 43 equal to 80 is it correct is it correct this equation but it is correct in one kind of number system right we are thinking that addition is in decimal number system right so if it is in terms of decimal number system obviously option is wrong but they are saying that it is correct in some kind of number system find out that number system right what we can simply assume so everything is in some kind of number system like b i am trying to say this is also b number system all are in b number system right yes all are in b number system can we able to convert into decimal number system yes right so 3b plus 8 equal to 4b plus 3 equal to 8b 8b now i think 7b equal to 8b right so here b equal to 11 right try to calculate in 11 number system 11 base number system you can able to satisfy this one 38 plus 43 in 11 base system is equal into 18 11 base system okay fine so guys try to observe uh, one more kind of question square root of 22 equal to 6 again this is also possible one in one kind of number system what is that number system you have to calculate so try to do that For example, I am trying to give one more question. 42 base 9, you can able to calculate as work for you. X3 base Y. Can you do it that? So as like as the same model what I have explained earlier. You can do that as a work. Right. 
so note down one more uh, 2.3 base 4 plus 1.2 base 4 equal to y base 4 now try to solve this question solve this one and tell me the answer so what is the simple logic you have to follow convert into decimal number convert into decimal number system you can able to convert into decimal number system what is the decimal number system for 2.3 base 4 okay you can, you can do it as a work mark 2.75 in decimal number system very good okay 1.2 base 4 1 plus 1.5 right so you will get certain answer that is 3.25 in decimal that should be again converted into 4 base system right try to convert that what is the answer what happened This is 4.25. Okay, sorry. It's a mistake. You have given only. So, this should be 4.25 base 10. So, what is the value of 4.2 base 10 in a 4 number system? So, you have to, good, you have to be good with the calculation sum. How much? So what you have to do when 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 integer part integer part trying to convert into any other number system, you have to divide with that, right? So, 4 you have to divide with the respect to 4. So, 4 1s are 4, 0. So, 1, 0. Dot 0.25 you have to convert into 4 number system. So, I am going to multiply with 4. If you are going to multiply it with 4, 4 5s are 20, 4 2s are 8, 1.00. So, you will get 1 here, right? Next, what about the remaining value? 0.00 into 4. Obviously, you are going to get continuously 0. So, can I call it as 10 dot 10 in base 4 system? So, the sum of these values in this system is 10 dot 10 base 4. Okay. Fine. So, let, uh, let, let me have a question. Double 1. Double 1. X. 1y base 8 equal to 12c9 12c9 in hexadecimal what are the values of x and y try to calculate meanwhile i will write one more question
first try to solve that what are the values of x and y then we will come across the question of the second one guys what they are trying to ask here they are asking here with an expression octal number and hexadecimal number i hope you know right how to convert octal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to octal right so which kind of expression is unsolvable expression left side is unsolvable like lhs expression is unsolvable coming to rhs can we able to solve it directly or not right so meaning that 12c9 base 16 can we convert into binary number yes or no right if i am going to convert into binary number i can able to convert into octal number also what is the number 9 binary value 1001 because hexadecimal number should require four digits 1001 what about c value c is 12 12 means 1100 this is 2 2 means 0010 1 means 0001 this is binary number system right so the same binary number system can we convert into octal number system Yes or no? So if you want to convert into octal number system, how many bits you have to take? Three. Right. Try to solve the answer now. This means one. This is also one. This is three. One, one. Right. Can you able to equate these two? Yes or no? Right. 11 x 1 y this is already in octal number this is also in octal number what are the values of x and y x value is 3 y value is 1 right just equating those thing okay fine so coming to the next question minimum number of bits required to represent 6728 base 10 in binary i think the same question just now we have seen right if you observe this slide in order to represent a number 7 in binary format how many bits are required three bits in order to represent a number 15 which is of decimal number how many bits are required in binary four bits the question is simply the same thing In order to represent the number six seven two eight in decimal number, how many bits are required to represent the same number in binary form? So meaning that, so if I am going to have a number like six seven two eight base ten, base ten, after conversion, so you have to understand the question. After conversion into binary number system, how many bits you will get? Can I say like that? how many bits you will like you will get so that you will get it can able to fit 6728 number right so guys if i am going to have 15 base 10 can i able to use three spaces in order to fit 15 no you have to compulsory use four spaces four spaces the question is here if they are going to give a number like 6728 how many blanks minimum blanks are required in order to represent the same thing that is what their question What is that? Two power n minus one. Just now we have seen, right? Ah, huh, seal only. You have to take seal. You have to take seal of two power n minus one. So the answer is simply two power n minus one should be greater than or equal to six seven two eight, right? so the maximum number possible is 2 power n minus 1 right so if you are able to calculate like 2 power n is greater than or equal to 6729 if i am going to apply logarithm on both sides n greater than or equal to log 6729 base 2 what is the value of log 6729 base 2 1.71 or 12.0 12. point something right so you know right what is the value of 2 power 10 1024 2 power 11 2048 2 power 12 4096 4096 right 
फोर जीरो नाइन सिक्स टू पावर ट्वेल्व इज फोर जीरो नाइन सिक्स राइट वाट अबाउट टू पावर थर्टीन फोर जीरो नाइन सिक्स इंटू टू दैट मीन्स एट वन नाइन टू एट वन नाइन टू मीनिंग दैट वाट नंबर दे हेवा सिक्स सेवन टू एट राइट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू टेक ट्वेल्व बीट्स ट्वेल्व बीट्स कैन यू एबल टू प्ले सिक्स सेवन टू एट नो वी कैन एबल टू प्लेस ओनली अप टू फोर जीरो नाइन सिक्स ओनली राइट इफ आई एम गोइंग टेक थर्टीन बीट्स कैन एबल टू प्लेस सिक्स सेवन टू एट यस आई कैन एबल टू पुट मैक्सिम वाट वैल्यू एट वन नाइन टू सो इन बिटवीन फोर जीरो नाइन सिक्स इन बिटवीन एट वन नाइन टू कैन आई गेट सिक्स सेवन टू एट एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आर नॉट यस सो ऑब्वियसली यू रिक्वायर मोर दैन ट्वेल्व बीट्स रिक्वायर मोर दैन ट्वेल्व बीट्स दट टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट समथिंग यू आर गोइंग टू गेट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट some value some positive value right 12 point something means is there any points are available for is number of bits no you have to make it upper case right that means you have to make it seen so the minimum number of bits which are required for to represent 6728 base 10 is 13 bits are required okay na any doubt right so this is a generalization unless right so or else or else like instead of asking the binary instead of asking the binary in some other format they have given at that time same if they are asking in some four number system what you have to do 44 n minus 1 44 four n minus 1 right so if if somebody are unable to understood try to uh, understood this one like for example i am trying to take i am trying to take a number x ma a number system which is in some base x number base x number right what is the maximum number i can able to write with this base x number x minus 1 individual individual i can able to write x minus 1 right next individual digit i can write maximum x minus 1 x minus 1 and so on Can I can I form this kind of number system or not? See, I am trying to say that if I am going to have a hexadecimal number system, maximum number I can able to form is triple nine. That is the meaning of this one. Okay, fine. So if I am going to have this kind of number system, what is the maximum number of digits required to represent any data in some other number system? In some other number system like decimal number system. So what we can do here, for example, I am trying to extract certain formula. So if you are able to solve this one, you will get x into. You will get x minus one into x power zero. Okay. X minus one into x power one. Is it okay or not? X minus one into x square, and so on. X minus one into x power. X power what value? N minus one, right? Zero to. If I am saying that n numbers, those are from indexes from zero to n, right? You can able to calculate. Try to solve the x minus one as common. X power n minus one plus x power n minus two, and so on. X power one plus x power zero. You can able to calculate x minus one. As usual, this is in geometric progression form. Y into x power zero, b in sorry, y into x power one, y into x power two, and so on. So the final value will be y into x power n minus one by x minus one. Right? What is the value of y here? One. Right? So. X power n minus one by again x minus one. It is going to be ca cancelled. Again, you are going to get the value of x minus one only, right? So, what is this x here? Base. N is what? Number of uh, digits. Number of digits, right? So, if I am going to form, this is the maximum number I can able to form. This is the maximum number I can able to generate. 
then what is the number they have given again 6728 base 10 if i am if i would like to fit this number what you have to do again if you are able to solve this one again you are going to get the same formula right the same thing you are going to get but what is this x here here this is 2 2 means what binary because they have given in ask as binary i made simply substitute here 2 if they ask some kind of four number system you can simply substitute 4 some hexadecimal simply substitute 16 so like that you can able to do right so n should be greater than or equal to log x 6729 6729 is it okay and this should be again seal not the floor okay now fine so try to solve the same question like uh, the same model try to represent a number try to represent a number 4085 base 10 in binary number system as part of your work you can do work right so you can able to get practice okay fine for example i am trying to write one more question so the minimal not the minimal minimal is different from minimum the minimum decimal equivalent value the minimum decimal equivalent value of 21c base x is the minimum decimal equivalent value of 21c base x is So here what they are trying to ask, they are given some kind of number system, the value with the, some number system and they are asking that you have to give certain solution in the form of decimal number in such a way that the generated number should be maximum smallest value, maximum smallest value right. So how we are going to get the maximum smallest value here? First, how you are going to convert this number system to this number system? Right? Try to make it some kind of relation, right? So, you have to find out the value of x first. x is unknown. X, what is the value of x possible here? 13. x possible value is 13. So, x value can be 13, 14, 15 or it can be anything. It can be anything, right? So, if I am going to put 13, if I am going to put 13, what is the value you are going to get? 21c base 13 should be converted to decimal number. 13, so 2 into 13 square plus 1 into 13 power 1 plus 12. Right? So what is the value you are going to get? 363, right? So 363 base 10. 363 base 10, right? So, as you are trying to take the next number system like 14, what value it will get? It will increase the value, right? It will get the more than this value, right? So, meaning that the minimum value is 13, you have to consider. So, your answer will be 363 base 10. Why I am saying to say that 363 base 10? If you are going to take the less than 13 value, it is going to violate this principle. So, the answer will be again. 363 base 10. Okay. So, okay. So, for example, the question is like this. The minimum number of digits are required. The minimum number of digits are required. Digits are required to represent required to represent 32 digit base 10 32 digit base 10 in binary system 
in binary system right so the previous question is extended in the previous question what are this 32 digit also they have given i hope you understood right in the previous question 6728 base 10 should be represented in binary system they have asked and what are the minimum digits are required now they mentioned they didn't mention the 32 digit number they mentioned sorry they didn't mention the actual number they mentioned only 32 digit number 32 digit number right so if i am having a number like try to understand the question so 32 digit number with base 10 means what is the maximum number it is possible all 32 nines with base 10 if you are going to convert it into binary number how many bits are required here that is the question so think about it what is the time Sorry. fine so here so you have to calculate the minimum number of digits are required right so what we can do you know with n digit we already calculated with n digit number with n digit number with some radix x what is the maximum number possible x power n minus 1 x power n minus 1 right so here if you are if you are able to observe i am trying to say that this is a k digit number this is a k digit number and which is our which number system some base 10 some base 10 right with this can i able to get some maximum number or not what is that maximum number again this is only 32 nines with base 10 right and this should be converted into binary number system right so meaning that if i am going to have a k digit number with some base system is b base system is b and they are trying to ask in the base system x for n digit for n digit right I hope you know those two formulas are same. But the destination number is what? Destination number should be greater than the actual given number because this is a decimal digit. Right? So 32 digit number, if you are going to convert into binary number, obviously binary number is far larger than the decimal number. So what you can do now? You can simply define. So this should be like n power x minus 1 should be greater than or equal to what is the formula n means what k i think we mentioned what is the formula amma? x power n minus 1 right x power n minus 1 should be greater than or equal to x means what b b to the power of k minus 1. i am trying to get the maximum number that's why x power n minus 1 should be greater than and if you are able to calculate n should be greater than or equal to n should be greater than or equal to k log b to the basics right try to substitute the values you can able to get the answer what is the k value here 10 k value is 10 Sorry, sorry. I'm getting confused. Okay. K value is 32. Log. B value is what? 10. X value is 2. Right? Try to solve this one. 32 into log 10 base 2. can use the calculator so i think 2 cube is not sufficient and 2 power 4 is required 
it should be around 3.2 any exact value Thirty two into three point. I am observing as two. Two okay. Three point two okay right. So then you can able to calculate like uh, what is the value? One not seven. One point one not six point something. So you have to make again points are not supported. So the value of n should be greater than or equal to one not six flow. That means. n should be greater than or equal to 107 so meaning that here you should have to have compulsory 107 bits in order to convert a 32 digit number into the respective binary number system okay try to solve this question so minimum number of bits are required to represent 516 base 7 in base 4 number system so guys here simply what we can do try to convert it into decimal try to convert it into decimal then again we will get the same question the formula is what x power n minus 1 should be greater than uh, you can directly follow the formula But when you go for any kind of competitive examination, you cannot able to remember all the formulas, right? So try to derive derive the formulas. That is better. So x power n minus one should be greater than or equal to the actual given value. So 516 base seven in, in decimal number format. Six. What is the value? Six plus seven two fifty eight. So this is two fifty eight base ten. So x power n minus one should be greater than or equal to 258. So x power n should be greater than or equal to 259. N is greater than or equal to log x to the 259. What is x they are asking here? Base four, right? N should be greater than or equal to log 259 base four. You can able to solve this one. You will get the answer. Four point something. Four point something. So you require Five bits. So n should be greater than or equal to five bits. Like this, you can able to calculate. Okay. So. the next one is next question so in a number system in a number system it is going to allow the values from minus 3 to plus 3 minus 3 to plus 3 and can be represented as c b a 0 1 2 3 in a new number system The values range is minus three to plus three, and allowed values are C B A zero one two three. C B A zero one two three. Okay. Express. Express. One not two. Base ten. One not two base ten. In the given number system. The given base number base system. You can you can observe here. This is different one, which was asked earlier in the gate. So here, so far we have seen various kind of number systems, right? If I am trying to say that it is a binary number system, compulsory it is going to have values from values of zero comma one. Obviously, if it is decimal number system, value supports from zero to nine. If it is hexadecimal number system, value supports from zero to nine and a to f. Some Five number system it is going to support from zero to four, but the question here is they have taken one more new number system according to their wish. That is, they have find out one new number system. It can support the values of CBA zero one two three, CBA one two three, right? Then what is the radix of this number system? 
सेवन राइट वाई सेवन वाई सेवन बिकॉज सो रैडिक्स फाइव मीन्स वाट इट कैन सपोर्ट वैल्यूज फ्रॉम जीरो टू फोर रैडिक्स सिक्सटीन मीन्स वाट इट कैन सपोर्ट सिक्सटीन वैल्यू रैडिक्स एट मीन्स इट कैन सपोर्ट एट वैल्यूज सिमिलरली इफ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक रैडिक्स सेवन इट कैन सपोर्ट हाउ मेनी वैल्यूज सेवन वैल्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ सम अदर नंबर सिस्टम दे गॉट द वैल्यूज लाइक सी बी ए जीरो वन टू थ्री राइट सो नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टूड इफ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक ए नंबर लाइक ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू विच इज इन बेस्ट इन विच इज इन बेस्ट इन सो वाट दे आर आस्किंग हियर दे आर आस्किंग अस टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू सेवन नंबर सिस्टम ओनली दे आर आस्किंग टू कन्वर्ट इन टू सेवन नंबर सिस्टम ओनली If you would like to convert the twenty-two in seven-number system, what you can do? Same process. Seven three is a twenty-one. Look at the remainder one. Remainder one, three one, three one in base seven. Three one in base seven. Is it a valid data or not? It is valid data because three is available here. One is available here. It is valid in the new-number system also. Assume that. I am trying to take one more number called twenty-seven. Now try to check what is the value. Seven three is a twenty-one. Seven four is a twenty-eight, right? Seven three is a twenty-one. And you will get the value as six, right? Next, this is the least possible value, so we will get the value thirty-six base seven. Thirty-six base seven. But guys, try to observe in the new number system. Is six is available for us? No, right? Meaning that this is not the exact value for twenty-seven in the new operating system. Then what you have to do? Try to observe here, twenty-seven. So can I convert this seven into these values minus three to plus three? Right? So seven four is what? Seven four is twenty-eight. Then what is the remainder we are going to get? Minus one, minus one, right? Now can I stop here? If I stop here, what? Four minus one. Again, four is not in the our represented system. So what you can do here? Seven one zero seven. You will get here minus three. Let here minus three, right? Now one minus three minus one are in our represented system. So I can stop here. So one. What is the equivalent value of minus three? Equivalent value of minus one. 1 ca in the respect to number system in the respect to new number system okay na fine now i hope understood the concept try to solve the actual question you have to convert the 102 base 10 in the new number system of base 7 what is the answer Right, try to answer. One zero two should be converted to radix of seven. Seven one zero seven. Seven three zero twenty one. One minute. Okay. So remainder is three, right? So seven four zero twenty eight. If you are going to have seven four zero twenty eight, remainder is four. Remainder is four, which is not available in the new number system. So what you can do? Seven five is thirty five. Then the remainder is minus three. Then the remainder is minus three, right? Next seven two is fourteen. Remainder is one. All are available. Two one C base seven. Two one C base seven, right? So this is the respect to equivalent number in the new number system. I hope you got clarity. so we can stop here amma so i think many examples has given okay so in the next class we will continue the complement of the numbers